yes, absolutely. And the reason for that is because in the United States, instead of having direct elections of presidents, you have the existence of the Electoral College, which is a very complicated piece of machinery whereby states are represented in this body that ultimately decides who the president's going to be according to the size of their congressional delegation and other considerations, which means that you can have all kinds of mathematical anomalies. It's eminently possible, and it's happened a number of times, that the winner of the popular vote, according to the rules, did not become the president. You've also had instances where the Supreme Court has, has held sway rather than the voters. In 1876, uh, there was a particularly fractious election where a single Supreme Court justice held the swing vote to decide who the next president would be. Much more recently, in 2000, we had the race in Florida between Al Gore and George W. Bush that came down to the last 537 votes, and it was the same thing. Instead of counting the votes fairly and transparently, the Supreme Court intervened and decided that they were going to halt the count where it was and allow George W. Bush to be declared the winner. My name is Andrew Gumbel. I'm a journalist and the author of Down for the Count, Dirty Elections and the Rotten History of Democracy in America.